Hey everyone, it's nice to be back after some time. And uh, let's see, now, so last video we installed a Docker desktop. So you might have that one be running and uh, you have your Kubernetes up and running. So let's go ahead and let's start with Argo workflow. So what are the Argo workflows? Argo workflows can be, these are the workflows, those are running in Kubernetes. It's like uh, running one step after other. You usually use the workflows in your CI CD um, where you run first you check out your code, you clone your code, then you run some test on it, then you run the sonar cubes and then you deploy it somewhere. So that's one of the example uh, that we can use with Argo workflows. So Argo workflow is a cloud native uh, and it's uh, approved by CNCF. Um, so this is really nice thing to look for. So let's start and uh, install the Argo workflow first. So before we go ahead and we install the Argo workflow, there are some utilities that you can use, which is K9. K9, it's a really nice Kubernetes UI. It's a terminal-based VM-like Kubernetes dashboard. So go ahead and install um, K9. So first, in order to install it on the Windows, you need a scoop. So go ahead and install the scoop from this URL. You can directly go in a UI and you can look for the scoop. Um, install the scoop, which is the steps are given here or go with the videos, uh, which is over there. So after install installing a scoop, you can install the K9s um, with your uh, K9s from this uh, for Windows like this. And after installing the K9s, you'll see the K9s.exe. If it doesn't recognize somewhere, means go and move it to the place where your path is set up. So after your K9s is available in your path, um, you can just do the K9s here and it will open up a nice GUI for you. So those are all the, that's your Kubernetes running and it's your Docker desktop. You see here your context is set as a Docker desktop and these are all the pods those are running. So you can do, if you'll do the question mark, it will show you all the helps, which is, uh, which is like all the commands that you can run in the K9s. So that's one thing to look for. So this is a nice tool. Go ahead and install it. And let's go ahead and install your Argo workflow. So first Argo workflow will create the namespace, uh, which is called Argo. Let's open our command prompt. So we'll check all the namespaces. We don't have any namespace name Argo. So let's create one. And this is a so short form for namespace. Now we have Argo namespace here. Let's go ahead and install the quick start from the from the Argo workflow itself. They have a quick start in which they have a Postgre means whatever the essential components um, that will install or that will be installed automatically for you. So you don't really need to change any YML or need to do any changes to the to to the Argo workflow installation. You can just go ahead and say kubist and it will install all the crds for you and after installing all the crds it will install the install it will install everything which is needed like service all the deployments everything will be ready for you so let's see what all what all things we it has so if you see in the argo workflow names if you see the namespace we have argo server deployment the power running, then we have a Minio running. Minio is a storage solution. Um, it's a free storage solution that you can use. Uh, then you have a Postgres running and then your workflow controller. So your Argo's workflow controller will listen to all the all the jobs that you'll, submit, you'll be submitting and Argo server will show you on the UI. So there is a nice looking UI for this thing. We can open that one. So before opening the UI, you just have to port forward to the service. So open another terminal and port forward to the service to see the UI. So, so if you see here, there is a service called Argo server. We just have to port forward to the service. So you can just run a command kubectl minus and Argo port forward SVC Argo server. And if you see the port, uh, which is uh, port, which is exposed is 2746. So we'll forward the port for same port. Okay, so now we are forwarding port 274 and 
Remember, this is a HTTPS. Um, by default, um, they generate a cert, self send cert for you uh, for the UI, so you don't really have to generate it. But if you do HTTPS localhost 27. All right. Sometimes slow. So that's a nice looking UI that you'll get with uh, Argo workflows. If you don't get this UI, if you're um, downloading any of the new version, then you'll not see here it as untagged because we did the quick, quick start apply. It will just uh, install the untagged version and there is no login prompt that you see. But normally when you see the login prompt, you might have to get the secret. So I am, means if you will have to get the secret, uh, I'll send you the link for that. Uh, but yeah, like right now we can see that uh, nothing is running. So let's run our first Argo workflow. We have a hello world, uh, which is directly given by Argo to start with. So let's submit our first of our workflow. Here, run the command. Just submit a workflow. Okay, it's running. That's quick. All right, if you see here, the workflow has been started for a hello world. The pod is pending. Okay, it's success. It was quick. So if you see here, there is one pod which came up, which is a hello world LR PLR, and which is completed already. It will it will have one init container, main container, a wait, and a wait container. Init container set you up for any PV or PVC that you have or any prior um, Thing that you want to set up before running the main container and at the main container will wait for main container to be finished and will do all the post processing kind of thing so that's what it will do and uh, that's a hello world is ready now you can just see the log and it logs says hello world yep that was quick so this is all um, this is our hello world that we ran so it was a very quick demo for Argo workflow install and running a hello world for Argo workflow. And we can see later in the later videos that we can, what how we can write some complex workflows. And uh, there are some more workflows where you can define the steps which is dependent on each other. So that will be for next. Thank you very much. We'll see you then.